Okay, lovey. We're getting comfy for our evening feed. The evening feed's always a bit tricky in a way because you've got less milk at the end of the day. A lot of women have said that. And so he has to sort of suckle a little bit before the letdown comes and and he doesn't really like doing it. He gets impatient. Whereas when there's a lot of milk, he can draw straight away. But yeah, but in the evening he can grizzle a little bit as he's waiting for the letdown. Yeah, I know, love. It's all right, just be patient. Just be patient. You know it'll come. Just be patient. Just be patient. So he's mimicking the stimulation cycle on the breast pump. Although I should actually say that the other way around. The breast pump mimics the baby, obviously. <laughs> you go. Just be patient. Here we go. Okay. okay, it's finally come down. Now you can see the difference. Now he's drawing. It took that long for the milk to come down. <laughs> He's popping up. You know, there's more milk on the side, darling. He's becoming very reluctant to let go of this breast. The right one's his favourite. He, he just clings onto this one. It's because I always start on the right. I need to swap. I think he's supposed to swap. I should start on the left sometimes. Yeah, I think I think you have, produce more milk in the breast that the baby either favours or or you or the breast that you start with because they they obviously drink more at the start and then I guess they peter off maybe on the second one the second breast so and when they're a newborn sometimes they don't even take from both breasts but as they get older they do they do them more both hey should we put you on the other side hey. Yeah, I I know you've you've finished drawing. I'm gonna pop you on the other side. Yeah, I know you have, love. Come here. <laughs> and don't fall off the couch. Come on. I know. I know he's gonna fall off the couch. Come on. Do you know if they're not wanting to let go of your nipple as well, one way to try and do it. Yank him off. No, I do not yank him off. <laughs> I don't yank him off. I just squeeze. I su oh, there you go. He's gotten off. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, monkey. Do you need a burpee? I'll put you on the other side. Um, cook. Yeah. Cook. Yeah. Cook, you are, cook, cook. Are you asking for the remote control? Cook. Come on. You're not going to get the remote control. Right, you've got more room to kick on this side. I should start sitting in the middle of the couch because then he's got room. And then the left breast is easier in the evening because the letdown's already happened. But look, if he's if he's had a bad afternoon and he's fed only at like 5.36 and then you feed again an hour later, you really don't have much milk. And some nights he's gotten quite distressed in terms of just being impatient, like, because it's taken a minute or two to get more milk to let down, and he just, he grizzles. He doesn't like waiting. You don't like waiting, do you, darling? 
I don't really like it when he comes on and off. I get a bit nervous that he's going to bite. Another thing I've heard in terms of advice, if that's happening, is to just hold them more firmly against your breast. Oh, cookie. It's a bit hard to hold you firmly when you just want to hold my hand, though. I love the closeness of feeding him. <laughs> I do. It's lovely holding your hand, lovey. Here it is. <laughs> and he gets a little giggle on his face. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, mummy love you, don't I? Mm. Fall asleep. Yeah, I thought you were going to fall asleep, but I don't think you're going to. I don't think you're going to. I don't think you are. I remember when he was just born. Do you remember Dr. Garth Small? His Spencer's paediatrician was talking about breastfeeding and he was saying, because I was saying we're having trouble, and he said, always try breast first and it's their comfort spot. And yeah, I think he's right. It's Spencer's little comfort spot. I thought you were going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one.